Hey, yo, what's going on? And uh, hello again. It's been I think like I feel like it's been a while since I've recorded anything. I don't think it was actually that long ago. Actually, no, it was a while ago. Saying that, but since then, since uh, recording my last video, I've actually moved my setup. I don't know if anyone actually you know, consistently watches my stuff. You'll see that uh, the background's a bit different. It's because I've actually moved into my bedroom. Um, so it's a bit more sort of in the corner, uh, secluded, and a bit more private, um, you know, for home life and stuff like that. As I was in the living room before, um, I had my newborn son in there, and um, yeah, it was very, um, very open, very echoey, and it was kind of, kind of hard to kind of at the time, you know, to kind of separate. It's more to separate that kind of life, being a dad and a, you know, working and then doing this, which I, which is I have such a passion for making videos and talk about, you know, stuff and everything like that so um yeah but today um just quickly before we uh, get started on this this video i'm very excited to watch um tekken 8 has been dropping all kinds of news information we've seen the rank system we've seen uh costume selection um, we've seen the ai learning um for the practice mode i've uh, seen the replays where you can play the last few seconds to see what you could have done differently so much um for and um, love has gone into Tekken 8 in the last few months since the CBT um, or the CNT sorry and with the CBT coming up it's going to be interesting to see you know how it feels playing Tekken 8 again since then you know the amount of changes that have been imp implemented I have a video of going through those changes and, I've, and I'm sure you've probably seen that on other channels or even here um, you know the list of things they've done might not make make sense to people who are kind of casually playing the game or just or just want to you know they're playing checking for the first time and you see these changes and you're thinking oh, what has that got to do with me and you know what does it matter to me you know balancing in a fighting game is so important because it all it takes is one move one string one one character one uh you know <clears throat> just one or even the scenery even the stage can make or break a fighting game you know, and it can turn it from being a, you know, competitive, thrilling event to a one-sided, you know, battle when everyone has to be on that same side, and you got you got the defiant on the other. So uh, yeah, but yeah, I'm so excited for Tekken 8. <laughs> so excited for um, everything they're doing, all the changes, and I'm really looking forward to, you know, the uh, they. Uh, with that being said, they actually released a opening cinematic, the first piece of story we've had since the original released reveal trailer where we saw Jin on his bike, Kazuya flying above New York, I believe it was, uh, Times Square. Um, even the op even the reveal trailer where they're fighting on that uh, beach with the tornadoes and the water, crashing the waves crashing in, where we first got a taste of actual in-game game fighting, which that was incredible. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing this four minutes of story uh, cinematic. And it's like, it looks like it's a fight scene between Kazoo and Jin. So starting off absolutely hot. Very excited to see it. So I'm just to kind of react to it. And I know you should really spoil yourself with these sort of things, but to be honest with you, I did it a lot with Mortal Kombat, and it didn't spoil the story for me at all. And I'm so excited for Tekken. I want to see how the story narration and the kind of flow differs from Seven because Seven story narration and the way that flow was very was very slow paced and even though there were, there were good scenes in it it felt very stop start it didn't feel like there was a consistent theme it just felt like we're just treading old water again until right at the end when because it kills Hayachi so spoiler alert uh, so yeah let's uh, let's watch this and uh, see what we think <coughs> Oh, so Jin's doing Operation Lightning. It's very low on my end. Tap a bit. Ah, oh, so Jin's... Jin's already there in New York, going for Kazuya already. Oh, mate, yeah. Ah, oh, what a beast. <laughs> That's it, done. Game over. Back to playing. Now he just walks out the fire. 
He's fucking Terminator. Oh. Ah, oh, deception. Oh, damn right, Jim was causing... Jim causing all that... Mishima, <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, cooking. Nice. We started this war. True, it's true. It's facts. Mm. Oh, mate, straight in. So, as you can see, you go from the city and you go straight into the battle. Oh, amazing. Oh, my God, it's so good. Bro, please tell me this stage is in the main game with interactable, with interacting like that in the background. Oh yeah, man. Oh man. I'd, I'd love to have it. I would also love that if they had like text combat. Well, not text combat, but they had combat. You know. And as you can see, by just simultaneously pressing the buttons when the special style is enabled, you can do all kinds of cool uh, attacks like this. Yeah, the special style. They've improved on that as well. <laughs> oh, he's gone in. he got to finish him. Oh, sh oh. Punish. Oh, dude, what? That was fucking so good. Is he dead or alive? <laughs> oh, he armored it, bro. Oh, man. It... <laughs> Mate, that charge is clean. Oh, big grab. Nice. I love the, the, the smoothness of the transition. Nice, he clocked him. Right, is that enough though? Oh, I love it. Straight to cinematic again. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh that was from uh, Chris Sanar. That was from Chris Sanar's channel, by the way. Sorry, should have mentioned that. But yeah, amazing. I made it down. I mean, even just that there, a taste of what to come. And I think after that, I think at least I thought them going up in the air and going through that building. I think we saw it on the trailer. But um, yeah, incredible. Really clean story. The transitions to cinematics and into gameplay was so smooth. You know, everything flowed really nicely, and you just want to see more. You know, it really does make you want to see more. So, uh, yeah, Tekken 8, doing great things. Oh, man. But uh, remember, if uh, you enjoy these sort of videos and you want to see more and see some previous stuff I've done relating to Mortal Kombat and going to be Tekken in the future, and other stuff as well, um, reactions and kind of gameplay uh, breakdowns and talking about things, uh, please subscribe, please like the video, please comment. I always respond to comments. And uh, you can follow me uh, here on uh, Kick, kick.com forward slash Born and Beard, where I'll be streaming Mortal Kombat, Tekken, and ver a various host of other games in between when I'm playing them. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot, take care, and uh, have a good one. Catch you later.